Oh, damn it, I keep doing that. <laughs> So I, lo I went to address the problem and I guess they were bullying her so I, I took them to the office and then I guess they fixed it. A couple weeks later the same situation happened and I was like, you know what, what the heck, Like I thought you fixed it, you called their parents. And I personally went to the office and just asked them what was going on and they saw it as girl drama. And I'm like, what the heck, they're little elementary girls, is that drama or is that like not right? So. They just ended up calling it girl drama, and the little girl was just was scared, which I feel really bad for her. Um, today I will discuss how bullying is leading to depression, how teachers can address the problem, how raise, how teachers can raise uh, raise awareness, and how depression rates can lower. So I will first talk about the problem. The problem is that. Depression, uh, bullying is leading to depression, and according to Sengon, Violence and Victims 2018, um, students who are involved in bullying are, students who are involved in bullying report higher rates of depression and anxiety, and according to FTC 2017, uh, teens who are, bu are bullied are more likely to develop depression through adulthood. And now that I've discussed the problem, let's talk about a solution, how teachers can raise awareness. And for teachers, I believe, no, I believe, a solution can be that teachers can be trained to raise awareness and how to properly fix the problem. According to Psych Central 2016, um, a school has, ha has handed out questionnaires, anonymous questionnaires, asking students if they have been bullied in the past year, and that is a way that they can help kids who are afraid to speak up. And according to Stuart, a Canadian Journal 2016, um, according to Stuart, Canadian Journal 2016, <laughs> anti-bullying programs have been put into action and the results show that kids that are, no, the results show that bullying has lowered in that specific school uh, due to the programs. And after we talked about a solution, let's discuss about an outcome. An outcome is that depression rates can lower, and according to Science Daily 2018, children who attend depression after being bullied <laughs> Students who attend therapy after being bullied are less likely to develop depression. And according to Journal of Psychology 2018, depression and bullying rates are actually lowering in the past couple years due to the anti-bullying programs and children are starting to feel safer in school. Overall, I hope that you feel more informed about the long-term consequences of bullying and I have discussed about how bullying is leading to depression, how teachers can raise awareness, and how, how depression rates are lowering. Also, if you would like to know more, there is a documentary called Bully. Thank you.